Banning. Dr. Disrespect was permanently banned from Twitch. TwitchCon. We gotta talk about TwitchCon because apparently it was a huge freaking mess. New policy rule. They explained that they'll no longer be offering the 70-30 contracts to any streamers. These are some of the controversies Twitch has done. Let's start with some recent ones. Gambling was a big problem on Twitch for a long time. A lot of streamers would show and play cover slots, roulette, and dice games to a young audience, which is especially a bad thing because children are easily impressed. They would show winning a grand prize and say, this can be you, all you need is to gamble some money and you will eventually win some prizes. There was one reason why Twitch would eventually ban gambling, because of a former member of Team Liquid called It's Slicker. It's Slicker spent so much money gambling while streaming that he essentially started the drama that culminated in Twitch's gambling ban. Although the amount of money he spent wasn't as big an issue as where he got that money from. It's Slicker was scamming his friends and followers out of a lot of money. How much you ask? around $300,000 just so he could gamble on stream. He had taken advantage of their friends and followers and told the victims that his bank account was frozen and he needed some money to get by. Each leaker later admitted he had a gambling addiction. On 21st of September 2020, Twitch responded with a Twitter post saying, on October 18, Twitch will prohibit streaming of gambling sites that include slots, roulette or dice games that aren't licensed in the USA. Twitch actually didn't ban all gambling. They still allow sports betting, fantasy sports and poker sites. To monetize your Twitch channel, you must achieve these requirements. Gain 50 followers, maintain an average of 3 concurrent viewers, stream 500 minutes or more with the last 30 days, and stream 500 minutes or more within the last 30 days. After achieving these requirements, you will be able to monetize your channel. On 21st of September 2020, Twitch announced a new policy rule. Creators will now get a 50-50 subscription split instead of the 70-30 split, here's what it says. Small Twitch creators had always a 50-50 split revenue, while the top Twitch creators had a 70-30 revenue split. Well, this rule will imply that every creator on Twitch will now have a 50-50 split revenue. Streamers that used to have a 70-30 split will have that until they reach $100,000. After that, their revenue will be split as the standard 50-50 share split. Which in my opinion is ridiculous. Every Twitch streamer in my opinion should have a 70-30 revenue split instead of the 50-50 split. For example, if you stream on YouTube, you will always get the 70-30 split. All YouTube streamers, even the small ones, got a 70-30 revenue split. This little thing is one of the issues Twitch will face in the future, if they will survive of course. We've seen one big company that faced their demise not that long ago, and that is Blockbuster. TwitchCon 2020 just occurred, but in the end it all went horrible. For those who do not know what TwitchCon is, let me explain. TwitchCon is a convention for live streaming video platform Twitch. The convention is organized by Twitch and it is an opportunity to see your favorite Twitch creators. At TwitchCon, Lenovo by Legion Bo hosted a face-off. They had set up a phone pit where streamers will try to knock each other off from race podiums using padded poles. But the problem was, the foam pit was just only 2 feet deep or 60.9 cm deep. This led up to some serious injuries. The first person who injured themselves was a streamer named Loh Vaness. 
After winning the battle, she jumped on the platform and dislocated her knee. The injury was so bad, she no longer was able to walk and staff had to help her. Luckily, she didn't break any bones. For the rest of the convention, she was in a wheelchair. This wasn't the end, despite the injury, the exhibit remained open. The next person who injured himself was Adriana Cechik, an adult actress. Just like Log Van Ness, she celebrated by jumping on the platform. Adriana landed up on her tailbone and was seriously injured. Adriana was transported to the hospital, which they discovered she had broken her back. The next day, she revealed the injury was so bad, it required a surgery. She tweeted saying this. If Twitch continues this way, YouTube will eventually overtake them and become the number one streaming platform.